it's a matter of customs. If customs believe that they were the importer of the vehicle and uh, they evaded custom duties, then customs have a formula that they would apply to be able to recover the duty and uh, punish the person or persons. But in this particular instance, while the two police officers were found in the vehicle, the vehicle does not belong to them. The vehicle belonged to their mother. Their mother bought the vehicle in 2018 from a person in Corozal Town. The vehicle was licensed and insured. Custom confirmed that when the vehicle was licensed and insured, it was done with fraudulent documents, not by the mother who, who, who in whose name the vehicle is in now, but by the person from whom she bought the vehicle. So if, if your mother have a vehicle that she bought from someone, believing that the vehicle was legitimately bought, or brought into the country. Here you are driving your mother's vehicle. You are stopped by customs and police. They learn the vehicle is stolen. You think it is going to be fair for them to, to hold you accountable for it? No. So we, we, we have to be real and we must be objective. And uh, people need to learn to stop being mischievous, man. You know? <laughs> we must deal with things for what they are, based on evidence and based on facts. You know? I, I, I personally don't see nothing wrong that on the part of the two officers. They were simply driving a vehicle that belonged to their mother.